holiday, a holiday, the first one of the year. Lord Arlen's wife came into the church, the gospel for to hear. And when the meeting it was done, she cast her eyes about. There she saw little Matty Grove walking in the crowd. Said, come home with me, little Matty Grove, come home with me tonight. Come home with me, little Matty Grove, and sleep with me till light. Oh, I can't come home, I won't come home and sleep with you tonight. For I can tell by the rings on your fingers you are my master's wife. Well, if I am Lord Arlen's wife, Lord Arlen's not at home. He's gone to the far cornfield, bringing the yearlings home. And a servant too, standing by and hearing what was said, he swore Lord Arlen he would know before the sun was set. And in his hurry to carry the news, he picked up his skirt and he ran. And when he came to the broad mill stream, he took off his shoes and he swam. Matty Grove, he lay down and he took a little sleep. When he woke, Lord Arlen was standing at his feet, saying, How do you like my feather bed? How do you like my sheets? How do you like my lady fair who lies in your arms asleep? Very well do I like your feather bed, very well do I like your sheets. But better I like your lady fair who lies in my arms asleep. Get up, get up, Lord Arlen cried, get up as fast as you can. It'll never be said in old England that I slew a naked man. Oh, I can't get up and I won't get up, no, I won't get up for my life. For you have two long beaten swords and I not a pocket knife. Well, it's true that I have two beaten swords, and they cost me deep in the purse. But you shall have the better of them, and I will have the worst. And you will strike the very first blow, and strike it like a man. Then I will strike the very next blow, and I'll kill you if I can. Maddie struck the very first blow, and he wounded Lord Arlen sore. Lord Arlen struck the very next blow, and Maddie moved no more. Then he took his own dear wife, and he set her on his knee, saying, Who do you like the better of us, Maddie Groves or me? Then up spoke his own dear wife, never heard to speak so free. I'd rather have a kiss from dead Maddie's lips than you and your finery. Lord Arlen, he jumped up and loudly he did bawl. He pinned his wife right through the heart and pinned her against the wall. Hold on. I'm sorry. He struck his wife right through the heart and he pinned her against the wall. A grave, a grave, Lord Arlen cried to bury these lovers in. But place my lady at the head, for she was of noble kin.